from Helen. And uh, although there was rain today, it wasn't really that heavy, was it? No, Assad, we had about five to eight millimetres across the region. But, you know, it's more than most of the region have seen all February. It has been so dry. Before today, we'd only had about 1% of the February rainfall. So it could still be one of the driest on record because there doesn't look as if there'll be much more rain around. Oh. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Yeah. This was, um, as you can see, at Bromley earlier on, the rain coming down. Now, taking the forecast forward, we have got a little bit more rainfall to come as well in the form of showers so it's not rain for all much as we need it it's uh, as i say showery so not everywhere is guaranteed to get that rainfall it's uh, an area of cloud on the satellite picture here it's a weather front it stretches into france actually breaking their dry regime as well 32 days of dry weather across the whole of france as well so we're not alone with this dry weather but it, it, it is now getting some rain. We are now getting some rain. It is cold enough in the north for some snow. We're seeing some of that coming southwards in the showers. But for ourselves, it's more likely to be rain, even though the air is colder. So we've still got a few hours of this rain to, to clear out of the way. A few showers following on behind. And I've talked about the fact it's wintry further north. It's cold air. So temperatures overnight are going to fall lower than they've been for some time, perhaps as low as three or four out in rural parts of Buckinghamshire towards Berkshire as well. So it should be largely frost free tomorrow morning. Morning, but it will be chillier and it'll be quite grey and cloudy with some mistiness over the hills as well as some further showers coming and a keen northeasterly breeze. It's going to be late in the day potentially before it brightens up, but we should see some brighter skies and sunshine coming through. But the temperatures when they've been around, well, 13, 14 this week, 10 today, they're a little lower again tomorrow. And then overnight tomorrow, the sky is clear as those showers move out the way finally. And actually, we could have a chilly night with some frost, particularly in the south, because you saw there the cloud starts to come into the north. That's ahead of the next weather front, which it doesn't look as if it'll give much rain, much as we need it. It's more a band of cloud, which will make it feel chillier, if you like. But the high pressure, this high pressure is going to be the dominant feature of the weather throughout the rest of the week and into the weekend once these showers are cleared away. This is just going to be a band of cloud, perhaps a a little bit of patchy rain as it comes, particularly in eastern areas as it moves its way southwards. There could be some heavier outbreaks temporarily and then some brighter skies following, but quite a chilly north breeze coming in, seven or eight degrees, potentially 10 in the capital, obviously feeling colder in the wind. But then high pressure moves back in as we go to the weekend and then it's dry for us pretty much, Assad. Yeah, more dry weather. Okay, uh, thanks very much for that, Helen. We're well, now for a